Rain lashed against Detective Miller's trench coat as he surveyed the scene. Neon signs advertising the latest metaverse experiences bled through the downpour, casting the deserted alley in an unsettling glow. The victim, a young woman with eyes wide open and a single glowing contact lens dangling from her ear, lay sprawled on the slick pavement. Her phone, clutched in her hand, displayed a glitching image of a fantastical landscape, the kind that promised complete digital immersion in the hottest new Vermorp, Elysium. This wasn't Miller's first case involving the game. Elysium, praised for its hyper-realistic environments and player customization using brainwave interfaces, had a dark underbelly. Rumors of unregulated black market mods, promising godlike abilities and bypassing safety protocols, were rampant. The victim, Maya, a rising star in the competitive VR league, was known to be vocal about these dangers. The first clue came from Maya's pockets, a crumpled receipt for a hidden back-alley shop notorious for dealing in illegal mods. At the shop, shrouded in shadows and the hum of unknown tech, Miller found a discarded data chip. It contained fragments of code unlike anything he'd seen before, pushing the boundaries of human-computer interaction. It spoke of a new, untraceable mod, capable of manipulating the game world itself. Meanwhile, online, the news of Maya's death had sent shockwaves through the Telegium community. Accusations flew. Conspiracy theorists, already suspicious of the game's corporate owners, claimed foul play. Others blamed rival players or jealous fans. But amidst the chaos, Miller noticed a coded message hidden in a popular streamer's video, a cryptic symbol that mirrored a logo he'd seen etched on the data chip. Following the trail, Miller found himself at an abandoned warehouse, the epicenter of a clandestine Elysium modding operation. There, he confronted a group of cloaked figures wielding advanced VR equipment. A struggle ensued, the warehouse bathed in the flickering light of hacked virtual landscapes. Miller, using his knowledge of the game's mechanics, managed to overpower them. One of the figures, a young hacker barely out of his teens, confessed. They'd been pressured by a powerful, anonymous entity to develop the untraceable mod, a mod that could potentially collapse the fragile barrier between the real world and the digital one. The mystery deepened. Who was behind this? Was it a rogue developer, a rival company, or something more sinister? The answer, Miller knew, lay within the game itself. Donning a VR headset provided by the captured hacker, Miller entered the treacherous world of Elysium. His mission, to find the source of the threat, navigate the dangerous modded landscapes, and expose the puppet master before the real world became collateral damage in a virtual war.